An awesome app for doing lots of your work is called Paperport Notes. It's made by the same company that makes Dragon Dictate, so it's quite easy to use and you have lots of options for getting your work into your files. You can see that I went back to find all of my different files that I have made. It's really important that you give them a name as soon as you open, otherwise you are going to find out that you have lots of untitled files. But the good thing is, is that they are time stamped. So I'm going to open Cars. We were working on this one the other day. I'm going to click in there to get started. This, these two boxes here tell you what page you're on. These are undo and redo buttons. This one is to add bookmarks. And you can name your bookmarks. This little microphone here allows you to put in voice notes separate from dictating. This is the text button that you can use to add text boxes and pictures. There is a writing tool next to it where you can use highlighters. And there are markers as well. And there's an erase button and the erase button will only erase the markers and the pencils. Palm Protect is very handy. If you have someone who needs some assistance with holding the stylus, you can set up Palm Protect and that way when they touch an area of the screen that they don't intend to, they actually won't put anything in. Well, let's get started. I want to add to my note. We have talked about torque in this one, so I'm going to add some further notes. And I just click here, and as soon as I click on my screen, I get the option to tap and speak. And this is the dragon part of this app. So I'm going to dictate a little bit more. The aerodynamics of my model car are also important for me to pay attention to, period. And it goes out to the internet, it comes back in and then you can reread it and you can actually go in and edit it so right here I should have added some returns for a new paragraph so now I, let's say I want to add a picture to my drawing and I had my text box open which is why it popped in a box for me so I'll show you how that works tap on your text box drag your finger across where you want to add your picture. Up here you have the option to put text in that box so you can create a movable text. You can put a border around it or you can turn it into a sticky note but right now I want to make it into an, get an image off the internet. And it's not going to let me. So I'm going to get a web snapshot it takes me right out to the internet. I set it up for Google Images and I'm going to type in Aerodynamics and I might want to add model car because that's what we're talking about. And I can search. When I find a picture that I really like, that might help me explain my concept, I can choose that image. And down here at the bottom is a little I, button that says Web Snap. You tap on Web Snap, you choose the area by drawing your finger over it in a diagonal to make the box, and you can capture selection. Immediately, the captured selection is put right into your writing. So how simple is that? So let's say I'm running out of time and I want to add some notes for myself. I can click on the microphone and I can dictate a note by tapping on the plus sign. I need to remember to add some more information about aerodynamics. And when it turns blue, it tells me that there are notes on that page that are voice notes. So I could go back to the menu. I can see that this page actually has a bookmark and it has a voice note in it. So when I go to the page, I can tap on the microphone and listen to my voice note. Tapping on the plus sign, 
I need to remember to add some more information about aerodynamics. And that could be something that could be used in many different ways, such as oral testing or taking notes for yourself. Those are some of the basics of using paper port notes. There, good enough. <laughs>